Let's get right into some more girl chat. In a recent interview from Times Talks, musician John Legend said that he believes artists need to be more authentic in their songs about what's going on in the world and in their lives. I agree. I agree. I agree. You should be honest with how you're feeling and what's important to yes. you. Now, Candy, you are a hit maker. We know this. You've written Thank TLC's you. No Scrubs <laughs> and Destiny Child's Bills, 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 one of my favorites. So do good. you agree with what John has to say? I think we naturally do that. that I mean, for me personally, I can go back through a lot of the songs that I wrote and said, oh, I was dating such and such at that time. <laughs> like, my songs were my diaries. I vent through music. And I definitely feel like, you know, whatever is going on in the world is naturally going to come out if you're a mm -hmm. real true songwriter. Mm -hmm. I yeah. agree. Yeah. I think, um, go ahead. Because yeah. you're a songwriter too, right? Yeah. Are you? Are you sing songs? Have you, Adrian? Yeah. Are you a songwriter? I've written songs, but they don't write like the ones that she <laughs> No, stop. All that to say, but I am curious. Song stress. All that to say, I am curious to find out if you guys right now were to write song lyrics, if you were to write a song, Tam, Jeannie, like what would your song oh, be about? Man. If it was to like mark where you are in your life right now, what would you sing about? Oh, if y'all give me a beat, I could do it right now. I can. Yeah. Come on, everybody, clap your hands. Hey, 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 hey. I'm Lonnie. I'm thicker. I like brown liquor. And if you elbows make me quiver. Yeah. Oh I was God. all off oh, the field. That was amazing. That was, that was amazing. amazing. That was it in a nutshell, though. Jeannie, okay. what's yours? <laughs> okay, all right, all right, okay. I've always wanted to be a rapper. Can I try? Yeah. Give me that beat, Lonnie. Give me that beat. Five, okay. Six, seven, seven eight. eight. Celine Dion song? <laughs> it would. Celine Dion. If I'm but you lady. guys, and in the Celine Dion way, okay, she loved her husband. Yes. You guys know how much I love my husband. Yes. I, thanks. You guys, no, I may seriously cry because I asked my husband, because he, you guys, he knows me like no one else does. He knows my ins and outs. He knows, he knows, me, he knows my ups and downs, my good and my bad. Okay. So I asked him, uh, to write some lyrics so you gonna for me sing? from his per I'm not gonna wait, sing. Wait, wait, Adam, wait. Hold on. No, he did. Adam wrote lyrics see. for you? He wrote lyrics from you guys. Tamara, no, if I rap, oh, no, 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 Practice this. No, like, oh, put on no, the it's so perfect. Okay. Come okay. on, let's do it. But you guys, so I'll make it more into like a, a poem. Okay. Like Shakespearean, okay. Oh. Like Shakespearean okay. poem. Okay? <laughs> Don't laugh, okay, you guys? Because I think this is a so poem. beautiful. Okay. A this poem. is what he wrote about me. I'm ready. A poem. Stop, Lonnie. In a poem. Stop it, Lonnie! <laughs> Okay. okay, ready? Okay. And he's here today, so, okay. In dreams, in dreams, I find reality. In my heart, I find love. Everywhere I look, I want to see stars in the sky. Oh. <laughs> Everywhere I look, I see stars. Please. 
crying for real. You guys, seriously. No, seriously. Ah, show some respect for this man's lyrics. <laughs> show respect and feel the warmth of you. That's it, you guys. Yeah. Wait, he really that wrote that? Beautiful. For a man who has known me for 12 years, this is everything. Aww. Can I sing it? Can you want to sing it? Come on, let me sing this for Adam. Where you at? Shut up, Come on, Adam. Adam. Yeah. Yeah. Sing it good. Don't sing, sing it, mess up. <laughs> yes, sing he's it. probably hiding somewhere in, in a dreams, corner. dreams, I find reality. <laughs> You're watching The Real. And Welcome back to The Real. We are here with our guest co-host, Candy Burris. Hey! So let's get back to some girl chat. You know the saying, love don't cost a thing? Well, it really doesn't when it comes to love making. Yes. Mm -hmm. According to Essence.com, if you want to keep your love life interesting, you don't need fancy lingerie. Uh-uh. All you need is to look around your house. That's right. If you don't have handcuffs available, just use a tie. Oh. How about coconut oil? Not only good for cooking, but you can also use it to give your man a sexy massage. Yeah. Right? If you ladies wanted to release your inner Fifty Shades of Grey, you could even use a spatula if you're into... Yeah. Nice. Ew. So, Candy, <laughs> have you ever used any household <laughs> items to spice up your sex life? Girl, yeah. You know, this is my favorite subject. Like, what are you talking about? Okay, so let's get started. Okay, <laughs> no, just kidding. Nope. Now, one thing I always tell some of my friends is, okay, you could do something real simple. Mm -hmm. um, Get a, make a bath, right? Blindfold them. Okay. Get like a little um, bowls of fruit, different fruit, and bowls of like different like a uh, whipped cream, chocolate, and caramel or something. Okay. Ooh, so at first, you take like the strawberry, you dip it in the chocolate, and you put it in their mouth, and they're like, oh. Then you take <laughs> the banana, you dip it in the caramel, and you put it in their mouth, and they're like, oh. Okay. Then you take your finger and you put it in the um, chocolate and you stick it in their mouth. Oh. And then they're like, ooh. It, make, it sends a tingling sensation down their spine because see, they weren't expecting right. a body part. And you don't have to necessarily put your finger. You can put something. <laughs> but as long as they can feel the skin with whatever the Because you know, they're flavor. blindfolded. They yeah. don't know. And then if all else fails, you can just get a cough drop. Menthol. Yes. Yes. The menthol. Yes. That tingling sensation gives them that <laughs> I, It makes them feel. I do the same. A peppermint does the same thing, yes. right? Altoids. Yeah, but the all the strong notes. Better. Taking okay. notes. I'm telling you. Taking notes. <laughs> Taking notes. Tell you, girl. Jot these down, so folks. Fine. Oh. Okay. Coconut oil. I just use Crisco. Okay. <laughs> Crisco. <laughs> I light on fire here. in there. Don't have, I have candles a nearby. Candy, can you use coconut oil everywhere? Yes. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess. <laughs> now, I don't want somebody to use it and try to sue me. Okay, got it. Uh, coconut okay. oil is great. Okay, it's great. all natural. All natural. Good things. Good things, you Good know. Things. See, this is what happens when you have one partner. When you have multiple partners. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to be as creative. We don't need fruit and vegetables to have fun. <laughs> First of all, when you're just dating, that's when you really turn up because that's when they're trying to hook you. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to pull out all the tricks to hook you. No, they better use the, the good old fashioned trick, okay? What? Yes. Girl, you better come with it or go home, okay? <laughs> that's what I tell them. You better.
to come with it or go home. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, that's all we have for Girl Chat today. Let's keep it cool in the streets over here, but there's more of the real cool coming up next streets. with guest co-host Candy Burris. We'll be right back. Into bigger circles with your fingertips and place it on a cookie sheet. I'm not just there with your fingertips. You're smacking the hell out of that. 